What's going on YouTube? This is Ribo back at the bench today. And this time I've got something a little bit different, uh, but maybe something that I'd like to do a little bit more often. Uh, but this is a gear review of a different nature. Uh, so today I've got a glove review, um, which is really odd, but I'll, I'll explain why. So these are the LL Bean Buckskin Chopper Mitts. Um, and I bought these a couple years ago and I'm in the South, so it never gets super, super cold for a long period of time. Um, but we do have, you know, we have all the seasons here. And so we do have some cold weather and we recently had a, a pretty bad cold front, um, where we had single digits for a couple days, uh, overnight. Uh, and it was pretty cold. Um, but I actually bought these probably, I don't know, maybe five years ago or so. And I bought these for when I traveled up north and I used to travel up north about one week a month for a couple years for work. Um, and so I was in, you know, a decent amount of snow and cold weather and, um, and I wanted something that would, would kind of keep me warm while I was up there. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, and honestly, I don't wear gloves a ton, but, uh, I really, I like LL Bean. I like the brand and I really liked these. Um, and so I bought them. Uh, these were about, I don't remember what they were when I bought them. I think they're like 80 bucks or something, but LL Bean has been making these from my understanding, uh, for 50 years or more. Um, and so I thought uh, the other day when I pulled these out, when it had gotten really cold here, uh, I thought, hey, that might actually be a pretty good gear review uh, because if you're like me, you're always over researching gear purchases of any nature. Uh, and so I thought maybe I could uh, do a quick review of these. Uh, so obviously I'm not gonna do any size comparisons or anything like that, uh, but I'm just really gonna talk about my likes and dislikes of uh, the buckskin chopper mitts. Now, um, one thing to keep in mind, uh, you know, when I started looking for a pair of gloves, I had really reached the point where I, I didn't want a traditional glove, like a five finger glove. I'm probably wrong about this, but it's my belief that a traditional like five finger glove is really just useless for cold weather um, because the fact that your fingers are separated, you don't have body heat, uh, you don't have fingers touching fingers, like you're just very, very limited in the amount of warmth that you're ever going to really be able to get. Kind of the same principle uh, for cold weather camping and, and that kind of thing where you actually want to be in fewer clothes in your sleeping bag than more clothes because your body heat's actually what's going to keep you warm. Um, that's what made me really go to search for a, uh, a mitt. Um, instead of a traditional five finger glove. And so that's what led me to the buckskin chopper mitts. Now, um, these are deer skin uh, outer shell. Uh, they call this kind of their moccasin construction, but um, you know, these are not maybe, I mean, I think these look really awesome, but these are maybe not your most uh, finessed stylish gloves, uh, but I think they look really sweet. They have this outer seam, so it's not a hidden seam, but it's it's a pretty basic kind of outer seam on the buckskin um, and a uh, little bit of an elast elastic uh, band right there just on the top. Um, but you have deer skin on the outer layer. And then what makes these really awesome, in my opinion, is that you have a removable liner that is wool. Now, wool is my favorite natural material, I think, of all time. I wear wool socks uh, 20, not 24 seven, but 365 days a year I'm in wool socks, uh, either a thinner or a thicker. Uh, they, it is perfect. I, I think wool is just an incredible material. I have beanies made out of wool socks. I need to get into some uh, shirts and stuff made of wool, but I just think wool is an incredible material. Um, so this is wool. Um, I think there's actually two different uh, types of wool here. I think the the inner right here is like an 80-20 blend. Um, and then the outer layer, I think, is 100% wool, if I remember correctly. Um, but basically, you have this inner mitten uh, that is intended for warmth um, and to, I, I assume, wick moisture away. But you have the inner layer that is primarily intended for warmth. Um, but the problem is if you just have a wool mitt like this, uh, you know, it is not going to block wind and it is not going to repel water. Uh, well, actually wool does a pretty good job of at least absorbing and keeping water away from the inner liner if it's thick enough. Um, but this really isn't going to do that. So uh, this is intended for warmth. And then uh, the outer sleeve here 
is intended to kind of keep the uh, wind and the rain and, and all of that away from you. Um, so you can see that it is just uh, deer skin all the way through here. There's that elastic band. Um, I, I was actually thinking I bought a large, so it's good to know that it's a medium. Um, and there's the tag. Uh, that's just the, the backing of uh, where they debossed the leather. Um, so anyway, that's kind of how it's construction, constructed. You have the inner removable liner and then the outer. I think you can buy replacement liners if you uh, end up tearing through uh, the wool here. But these are, you know, I don't, I don't wear these very often, but these have held up. Um, just fine. So I'm going to show you, um, I, like I said, I have not small hands. I have fairly large hands. Um, I ordered a medium and uh, I would not go any bigger than that. Uh, I think these fit just fine. And I think the easiest way to get the liners back in is to wear the liner and then slip the sleeve on the outside as opposed to trying to stuff it in. Uh, I don't really wear them separately. You can obviously wear uh, just the liner. Um, I'm pretty much always wearing both if I'm wearing them, uh, but I think that's a pretty good fit. Uh, maybe a little snug uh, in terms of the length. I think the width could actually be a, a little bit snugger, more snug, snugglier, whatever you want to call that. Um, but uh, overall, I think the size is, is pretty good, but I'm, I'm probably maxing out uh, the, uh, the medium here. Uh, so that's kind of how they fit, and that's kind of the, the, the way that they're constructed. Now, uh, my likes and dislikes. Overall, uh, I love these gloves um, or these mittens. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't have a use for them a ton. Uh, these are gloves that I wear a few days a year when it snows outside uh, because they handle, uh, you know, wet and cold really, really well. I find these to be relatively very warm compared to other gloves that I've worn in the past. Um, again, because uh, you have all of your hand in there, kind of creating some body heat and keeping it together. Uh, honestly, the, the thing that I wear these the most for, at least when I was working a traditional job where I had to drive in, is that I would kind of use these as driving gloves. Like I would, you know, wake up uh, when I would go to leave for work, my car would not be fully heated. And so I'd throw these on on the way to work uh, because it's very easy to drive with them. Um, and, uh, and just kind of keep my hands warm uh, in the car until I got fully warmed up. Uh, and I thought they worked great for that, but they're also really great uh, for outdoors work. I think I've taken these um, when I went cold weather camping. Um, I can't quite remember if I had these by then, but I think I did. Um, and then I've done some, some light outdoor stuff, but mostly, um, mostly just traveled with these. Uh, so kind of corporate work type stuff traveling, taking a train, uh, driving around, walking around the city, that kind of thing. Um, you can tell in the last few years, uh, they're definitely used, but the, the deer skin has held up quite nicely. The only spot uh, that really shows anything is over here. You can see uh, tearing away a little bit, and I haven't even conditioned these. Uh, I, I don't think so, um, and I need to do that. Um, but uh, overall, I think has held up incredibly well. Uh, so things I like about them, I love the double layer construction. I like the fact that it's removable. It's not s stuck in there. That way you can make repairs or, or even buy replacements if you need to. Um, I think that's really, really sweet. Like I said, I love wool. I like the, I like the color of the wool. It reminds me of kind of the classic rag socks. Um, I, I, I find it incredibly comfortable, very soft inside. Um, I, my, probably my favorite thing about the gloves is the range of motion. I mean, I think the thing that a lot of people think with mitts is that you just, you, you can't do as much and that's true. Um, you don't have, uh, your fingers and so you can't do quite as much, but I find it to be surprisingly easy to grip things with these. Um, and so there are, uh, certainly times when I can't do something and have to take the glove off to do it. Uh, but in generally, in general, uh, you, you can do, I think more than you think you can. Um, with with mittens like this. And so I found the range of motion and just the ability to pick things up and do stuff uh, to be pretty good with these. Um, I think they're very durable. Uh, it's a good, you know, pretty thick layer of uh, deer skin. I mean, it's not paper thin. A lot of times on cheaper gloves, you'll find that the, the leather is very, very thin or is some type of, uh, um, you know, lower, uh, quality leather. Not that this is the highest quality, but I find this to be um, pretty pretty substantial. Um, and so I, I really like that. 
Things I dislike, I, I think nothing really besides just the typical downsides of uh, having mittens over gloves. Um, but for me, uh, this has been uh, an easy choice and, and, and these gloves I'll have for many, many years. Um, so again, kind of a weird review, not in my typical format, but uh, I might start reviewing some other things that are just kind of laying around gear that I've really enjoyed for many, many years of use. Um, and, and these are definitely them. So if you're looking for a pair of uh, mittens to keep you warm, something that is uh, honestly similar to a work glove. I don't have them. Actually, I think they're in my truck right now, but I use a uh, deer hide style outdoor work glove. And these are honestly kind of similar, similar in terms of the quality of the outer leather. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, but something that also keep your hands warm and toasty, I would, uh, I would definitely recommend the, the uh, L.L. Bean Buckskin Chopper Mitts. Uh, so carry for me, uh, really, really big fan. I'll try to put a link uh, down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review, and I will see you next time.